G'day. Just a quick video on CV joint. I've got an old CV joint here we've just pulled apart. I've just put the balls back in there just to show you what happens or what wears on those. You can see there the, the little mark on the cage there where the balls have been wearing. If you can see that. There. There, not so much. Here a little bit more. There, not so much. And there, a little bit. Now with the cage, you can actually flip it over. You can see, because of the angle of these grooves where the balls run through, it'll either be pushing more that side and less on that side. But what you can do is flip it over 180 degrees and you can see that it's significantly less worn on that side than on this side. That's one thing. Another thing that happens, or where they wear, the splines wear. And also here, that's where the ball runs most of the time. You can see when that, that's rolling around like that. You can't do much with that because they're directional. Usually the little step goes away from the gearbox and the flat side, you can see where the circlip was, that's what holds it on the shaft. And also here, you can see where it's worn there. And there is actually a little step, you can't see it, but I can definitely feel it, especially on that on that side over that way. It's worn there, not worn down here. These also you can't flip over because they've got, that's the side that goes towards the, the gearbox, usually has a gasket and a step there, and the flat side goes towards the wheel. So when you're assembling these, you assemble them from the wheel side in towards that way. So I'll just quickly show you that. And one other thing to watch out for is, have a look, quite often people put them in the wrong way thinking that the wider bit there, you can see it's got a wide bit and then a little narrow bit, and they actually mesh up the wide bit with the wide bit, but it actually works the opposite way. You need to mesh the wide bit with that little narrow bit there so that can actually all well, the balls have got somewhere to work through so we've got the step goes towards the gearbox it assembles from the wheel side and that that step on there actually goes towards the wheel and the cage that doesn't matter and again the little pointy bit goes where you've got the wider bit and that should assemble a lot, a lot easier. If you do manage to assemble it the wrong way, it is very hard to get it apart. I'll, I'll warn you about that. But you don't force anything, otherwise you will bend things or break things. And quite often it looks a lot easier than it is <laughs> when you have a crack at it. And you just have to manoeuvre it just so it pops out, just so you can get the ball in. And there's the last ball there. And there we go. And you can see that can rotate. It's the right way. And it can't fall out. That's where the gearbox side is, so it can't fall out that way, but it can fall out this way. If I pull that out, that'll just fall right out like that. Anyway, that's that's the old one there, and here's a brand spanking new one. Now what I've done, I've just marked, just so you can see where, I always mark them when I pull them apart, 
just in case you can flip it over the opposite way if there's a wear wear trail on it you can use it the other way but you can see it's got the step on the outer ring that goes towards the gearbox the flat side on that inner part goes there and it actually comes out this way so we'll just pull that one apart it's a lot, a lot snugger fit you can see that the cage is actually even holding the balls in place there and they, they actually won't fall right through so you can see everything's more snug in there you can see there's no wear marks anywhere on it brand new one yeah to one, no wear marks, brand spanking new, and the inner one, see, no wear marks. So again, I'll just show you how to assemble. We've got the step on the outer ring, goes towards the gearbox, the cage, doesn't matter which way it goes, and then the stepped part goes out. Or the flat side goes towards the gearbox and once again you've got the narrow or the pointier bit on the inner side goes with the wider bit on the outside well, let's keep rolling away on me will be a little bit more difficult to assemble the one that's not worn push that out to the outer edge like one of those kids puzzles and maneuver it just enough for the other balls to not to fall out so you can get that one in there we go. And the lucky last one Or sometimes unlucky last one, like what just happened. Oh, managed to save it. There we go. All back together. And you can see it can rotate around. But it's a lot a lot more solid in there, a lot snugger fit, nothing's worn in it. Anyway, I hope that helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Throw me a beer, the link's in the section below. Cheers for the beers if any of this information helps. Keeps us motivated to make more videos. Thank you for watching.